everyone. My name is Sarah Shweeb Ahmed and this is my friend Amna Anjan. We both are students from the Next Generation School, Nuaija Campus, Grade 5. In this video, we are going to show you our journey on our scientific research. Our topic is prolonged exposure to air conditioners, health effects and sustainable solutions. Qatar is a country situated in the Arabian Peninsula with a desert landscape. The country experiences long summers with temperature over 45 degrees Celsius. The During this time, to protect from high thermal exposures and to increase the productivity of people in Qatar, we fully rely on air conditioners and we start working from indoor environments. Our main objective while doing this research is to identify physical and mental illnesses or problems associated with prolonged exposure to air conditioners. Our study also aims to provide the solutions for the AC users and to create awareness in the community. Conditioners are indoor devices used widely in the state of Qatar to protect people from high heat exposures. People spend 80% of their time indoors, such as homes and offices, equipped with AC for various reasons. So, they experience uh, physiological discomforts and allergic symptoms like headache, nasal and skin irritations, and uh, breathing problems. People staying in an air-conditioned environment may tend to have weaker ability to endure hot environments. This discomfort among the population may include digestive system problems, respiratory system problems, and skin irritation as well as mucous membranes due to conditioned air. We can summarize the solutions as Number 1. Appropriate urban design Number 2. Buildings can provide shading at high solar elevations around noon. Overhead shading, either through vegetation or shading devices, is crucial to creating a good microclimate. Number 3. Novel cooling technologies also include personal cooling such as cooling vests with phase change materials. Such systems have potential to cool the person's microenvironment. Number four, climate sensitive building designs. No, number five, district cooling systems and renewable energy AC are potential alternatives to conventional AC. Verbal interviews and online surveys were done by teachers, students, and parents of TNG on account of this study research. The survey has helped us to learn more about the various physical and mental ailments associated with prolonged exposure to air conditioners. They did different classes and created awareness about the challenges linked to increased AC use and what can be the more sustainable alternatives.